Hey, good Thursday morning. Good Thursday morning. I hope and pray that wherever you are, you survived the rain, the storms. I know in southern West Virginia, there have been flooding and other areas, there's been flash flooding. So I hope that wherever you are, you are safe and dry. And today, I just want to talk about storms, you know, because storms impact all of us. And I'm not talking about meteorology. I'm talking about storms of life. Every one of us will face storms in life. Some of you watching this right now, you're facing storms of life when it comes to your health. Some are fighting cancer. Others are fighting mobility issues. Others are fighting COVID. And I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And and for you and for those that are struggling, it is a storm. Others are facing storms when it comes to addiction. Others when it comes to mental health issues. There are others who are having and facing these storms and crises when it comes to financial issues. Others are facing these storms when it comes to, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, relationships. And so today I just want to talk about how do we get through those storms? How do we face them? Well, it's hard to go through life on your own. It really is. And you don't always have somebody there by your side. But in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 16, verse 8, the psalmist writes, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. And I think it's a reminder for us that not only when the storms of life are hitting us and impacting our families, that all times we're to keep our eyes upon the Lord. Why is that important? Well, the psalmist says, with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. And it's hard for us to understand what that means. But in biblical times, when you read the right hand, it's it's seen as a place of honor and status. And so the psalmist is saying that he is giving the Lord that place of honor and status in his life. So that no matter what the psalmist faces, he's not going to face these situations or storms on his own. And I think that's a reminder for all of us. We try to do things on our own. We try to fix things on our own. We try to, you see, we try to rely on our own strength. And I think it's important for the psalmist, the psalmist to say, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With Him at my right hand, that place of prominence, I will not be shaken. In the New Testament, we see in the Gospels where Jesus is walking on water. And Peter is invited to walk out with Him on that Sea of Galilee. And as long as Peter is doing what the psalmist writes, I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. I will not be shaken. And it was true for Peter. But the moment the storms, the moment the wind, the moment the waves took his eyes and focus off of Jesus, Peter began to sink. But in the grace of Jesus, what does he do? Peter cries out, Lord, save me. And immediately... Jesus pulls him out of the water. Yeah, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. No matter what you face today, I pray, I pray that your eyes are focused on the Lord so that we can get through and you can get through the storms of life. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia, wherever you are. I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless.